Last time on the American Crappie Trail, Wachita River made its debut as a new stop on the American Crappie Trail. While many anglers had a tough time figuring out where to find the crappie on this new body of water, the B&M team of Terry and Cole Stewart busted out a big weight on day one of 12.01 pounds and followed that up on day two with an 8.34 pound bag, earning them the win with a total weight of 20.35 pounds. This father and son team took home over $26,000 in cash and prizes and moved up the rankings in the B&M Angler Team of the Year race from sixth to second, just behind Ronnie Capps and Steve Coleman. What will Truman Lake deliver the anglers? Find out as Mid-State Seed presents the American Crappie Trail on Truman Lake, Missouri. Truman Lake, Missouri. The largest man-made lake in the state offers a wide variety of activities for the whole family, including hiking, boating, fishing, hunting, and more. Truman Lake was recently dubbed Crappie Heaven by the Kansas City Star, and it couldn't be more accurate. Truman Lake is renowned for its one-pole jig fishing and is adored by all anglers who love to feel the thump. Located very close to Clinton, Missouri, other amenities include the Katy Trail, Henry County Museum, and a beautiful historic downtown square. With a huge swing in temperatures and lower lake levels, the teams are seeing a locked bite with very few big kickers being caught. Got better a little bit every day. Uh, we're gonna go out and catch about 50 or 60 keep fish today. I know that. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit to try to catch a good fish. Uh, if we can come up with a good one every 10 or so, we'll be all right. It's gonna be tough, huh? especially when you're fishing against the best and the best. I mean, it's not gonna be easy, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go out and have fun, and I'm gonna hopefully catch a bunch of fish, and whatever happens at the end of the day happens. Good morning, Mike. Barnard, how are you this morning? I'm doing great. We're gonna go out and try to power fish. Um, we're gonna go fast, we're gonna fish fast. Carpet fishermen, you think you gotta slow down, and be methodical and slow. We're gonna go as fast as humanly possible, put our jigs next to every piece of cover that we caught a fish in in practice and hope they buy. We're gonna jig 6,000 stumps. Plus two more probably. And then an extra two that Alex has had her eye on, maybe <laughs> if we have time. We're gonna catch some big old slabs today. The Frontier Metal Team's on its way. American Crappie Trail, the only trail out here to fish. I'm here with Matt Morgan at Buttsall Marina on beautiful Truman Lake. This is a great lake, it's a great fishery. Matt, what do you think it's gonna take? You know, when you talk about what it's gonna take, Sam, this was really one of the lakes where one pole, one jig, 100 fish a day is the norm mm. for Truman Lake. The hotter it gets, the better it gets. In the last three weeks, it's been over 100 degrees. First day of the tournament here, we're looking at a high of 80 degrees. That's a big, big change for the fish and the anglers. Your guess is as good as mine. You know, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen here at beautiful Criminal Lake. On the water, teams take off fishing either the Osage or Grand Arms of the lake. Typically, tournaments are won here on the Grand Arm from Bucksaw Marina on up. Good job. There you go, folks. Here's the Truman Lake crappie right there. These fronts that's come in, the lake got up five, six foot, didn't drop back down, then got up, then got back down. Cold front or whatever you want to call it yesterday in the rain, we caught a great big fish about an hour before it happened. And when it cooled off, it, it just like it stopped. Certainly. We are just fishing the straight, you know, stumps and there's nothing, you know, no, no secret to anything we're doing. Look, my locator's not even on because we're not fishing anything underwater. We're fishing all stumps that we can see, visible timber. We're fishing 10 to 12 foot down and 12 to 15 foot of water. We're just trying to hit as many stumps as we can hit. My motto is the man that dips the most stumps wins. Gosh, we've had a great morning. We couldn't have dreamed, really, to have this kind of morning on this kind of bite that we've been ha having all week, but we've got about 20, 25 fish in the boat. We've got two really nice fish. Just caught another one right here, and she saw it's probably number three-ish. I'll put him on down there, but for right now, he's definitely the third biggest fish we got. 
Temperatures are 20 degrees off here at Truman. Find out who's gonna be able to adapt and catch those fish here on American Crappie Trail. Lucas Oil's Synthetic Blend two-cycle outboard engine oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but also provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend two-cycle oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend two-cycle oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil, it works. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Only Super Clean is formulated to do the work for you. Just spray it on and watch the grease and grime wash away. Super Clean is the only cleaner degreaser that is scientifically formulated to kick any mess to the curb. So you can move on to more important things. For all of your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super Clean, super easy, super fast. BNM Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you are jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, BNM has your pole. Third generation family company with over seven years' experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Pole. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. Visit BNMPoles.com for yours today. Here at Frontier Metal, keeping our customers satisfied is our number one goal and quality is a must. Our managers and founders have more than 25 successful years working in the metal roll forming and building materials industry. We offer a large variety of wood in our lumber yard as well as the highest quality premium metals made in the United States. Whether you're just looking for an extra sheet of plywood or a truckload of metal for your next project, you'll always talk to a crappie fisherman here at Frontier Metal. This episode of American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Marine Products, made in America, sold to the world. General Tire, anywhere is possible. Ranger Boats, driven to dominate. Evinrood, the official engine of the American Crappie Trail. Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. And these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to the ACT on Truman Lake. The team of Jeff Lewis and Matt Beckman won the ACT qualifier on Truman in 2017. Being their home lake, they're looking for the repeat victory. We're catching all of our fish. I have a 16th ounce pro-built jig head with a muddy water bait, blue and chartreuse tipped with a nibble. You know, we're going around, you know, jigging spot to spot to spot and just staying on the move, move looking for them active crappie. It's been a tough bite this morning, but we're catching a few fish here and there, and hopefully we can keep it going and you know do do all right you know by the end of the day. We won this thing last year, so it's um, it's definitely a lot of pressure on our back. You know we'd love to win again. We got to catch what we can catch, and that's you know it's going to be what it's going to be at the end of the day. Barry Morrow and Chad Maupin had a top 10 finish last year on Truman, coming in ninth. These two are also local anglers and know that this lake can turn around without notice. And just like that, the fish are on. Two weeks ago, we had a tournament, and Friday tournament, uh, we had very little by noon. And we happened to pull into one of our spots and just pulled in there, and man, we, we pulled out five. They went just, just 30 minutes. It was on. 
And then Saturday was just the opposite. We, uh, we caught them all in the morning. So it just, it's different every day. Monday we caught a, maybe two or three tournament fish that I would, I would say. But uh, Tuesday, Wednesday was really tough. Yesterday was really, really good for us. And uh, we were just praying we could get those same fish today. So far that hadn't been the case, but today's still young. And we've got two good tournament fish and the rest of them are probably pound fish and uh, we're looking for a pound and a half fish. We're gonna find him before the day's over. There he is. Ooh. That, that's better. Good solid pound, a little, it'll be over a pound fish. Still holding on to the first place spot in the B&M Angler Team of the Year race, the super clean team of Caps and Coleman finished fourth last year here at Truman. A force to be reckoned with on any lake, these two are looking for a victory this year. It's been great. We, we, we're catching these fish with a 16-pound pro-built jig. It's been made especially for fishing live bait, not with, not, not, not with a, a bait barb at all. And uh, what we're doing is tipping it with a small to medium minnow and actually just holding it dead still right in their face. And uh, these fish are on this, on this wood and they're very hard to catch unless you can just put it there and hold it completely still and let the minnow do, do the work for you. So that's just what we've been doing. And uh, we have caught a few fish on color. Once in a while, they'll pick a color out versus a minnow for whatever reason in the world. They keep hitting it. You'll see your line move. They keep ticking and hitting it and hitting it. It's nuts. If you sit there long enough, you'll finally take it. Every fish in this place is just here. They're just sedentary. They're right down in the structure and not going to move. Charlie and Kevin Rogers are notorious for jig fishing. While others are slowing down to work the structure over, these two are racing from one spot to the next. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think we need him. Find out. There you go. Oh, nice. Asking you shall receive. Got the right build, just not long enough. Let's show you what we do here. Every single fish we catch, I weigh it. Every fish, practice, fun, winter time. I want to know what these fish weigh. I bet that fish weighs over a pound. I'm going to weigh it right here. And it does. It's 116. And our small fish is a 94. So I mark that and put him on a rope. That's number seven. We, we don't fish completely different than most folks, but we fish really, really fast. Um, and a lot of people don't think crappie fishing being fast. And what we're doing, we're just dropping these jigs down these trees about that long. If we don't get a bite, we are going on. We are trying to catch the active fish only. Um, nobody likes to catch a fish that doesn't bite, right? They're <laughs> a lot harder. So. We're taking giant uh, three inch Bobby Brown slab slayers with an eight ounce jig and we're pitching it in here and it, they have been hammering it this morning. So we got about eight, go ahead. Just not big enough. Yeah, we got eight and a quarter pounds. We need nine and a quarter pounds and it's 11.30. So we need to do some upgrading here for the end of the day. Many speculate which arm of the lake this tournament will be won on, the Osage or the Grand. As the day progresses, it becomes clear that the larger concentrations of anglers are focusing on the upper parts of both arms, near Deepwater on the Grand and Galnepper on the Osage. Regardless of where the anglers are fishing, the bite is tough for everyone. Is it the Grand Arm or the Osage Arm that's going to produce those big fish? Find out next here at the ACT. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances, just like a dinner bell or fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap land, water, seed, and sunshine. It's what farmers need to make things grow. At Mid-State Seed, 
We take pride in our partners and grow friendships too, providing quality seed farmers can count on. From quality control to packaging and shipping, Mid-State Seed works hard to distribute affordable product from America's heartland. Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. Abernathy's Cycles, an authorized power sport dealership in Union City, Tennessee. The nation's largest Polaris ATV and UTV dealership. Unbelievable selection. New model ATVs, motorcycles, scooters. Experienced staff with over-the-top service repair and diagnostics to keep your vehicle running at top performance. 64 years of the best quality service and the best quality products. Abernathy Cycles, proud sponsor of the American Crappie Trail. Launching a Ranger aluminum boat that's cut full of holes may sound a little crazy, but with so much closed cell foam inside, it's easy to see the added safety and stability. It's a huge confidence booster, especially with so much quality inside, along with Evernew Detect's unrivaled performance and 300 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Ranger Aluminum is built to excel and priced to be yours. Power your Ranger with Evernew Detect. Mission 22 is dedicated to unite the country in the war against veteran suicide. Bringing our veterans home is every American's job. Ambassadors are creating impact in their community across the country. Mission 22 has comprehensive treatment programs for post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury at no cost to veterans. This is an American issue. No matter where you stand, there's a place for your support. Visit mission22.com to learn more. For over 30 years, Lucas Oil has provided the very best products for the land and sea. From this success stems another amazing product from the Lucas Marine lineup, Lucas Slick Mist Marine Speed Wax. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Lucas Marine Speed Wax will make your boat look brand new and provide great UV protection. Apply Lucas Marine Slick Mist to wet and dry surfaces in sunlight or shade. It's ideal in both fresh and salt water application and prevents hard water deposits. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine products. Lucas Oil, it works. This episode of the American Crappie Trail is brought to you by B&M Fishing. Quality, performance, and service for over 70 years. Super clean, super easy, super fast, super clean. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. And these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to the American Crappie Trail. The Mid-State Seed Team of Travis Bullock and Philip Haynes are currently holding the 12th spot in the B&M Angler Team of the Year. Truman was tough for them last year, and they're looking to make a better showing this time around. Been pre-fishing over on the Osage and uh, kind of saving this area, hoping, hoping uh, we wouldn't beat our fish up. We started over here, first day we fished up here all week uh, was today. and. Uh, we started about a mile and a half down from here and uh, we were able to put a limit in the boat. There, we've got three decent fish, the others we need, definitely need to get rid of. We'd, we'd like to call them all, but the bite's been pretty tough, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we got a lot of time left. So that's not the size we're looking for. The general tire team of Whitey and Matthew Outlaw are tucked back in a secluded area, fishing in two and a half to three feet of water. With the potential for the water to continue to fall, will this area still hold the fish they're looking for? I don't think they're going to go nowhere as long as they have enough, you know, enough water for them to sit in. I don't think they're going to, if they do, they might move out towards the, the creek channel a little bit, but I don't think they're going to go far. I believe you can catch seven fish. It might take, a, take most of the day to do it, but most of the fish you're catching here is going to be, going to be good ones. My bait has been good. Orange and chartreuse has also been probably the best color we've found so far. Mostly straight men on a jig head. We've only got four so far this morning, but they're all on pretty good quality fish. We've been fishing about two and a half hours. We, we know there's good fish here. So we're going to beat on it and see if we can catch three more. That's all we need. With two qualifiers remaining, this father and son team is looking for a big finish to move up from fourth in the B&M Angler Team of the Year race. The Frontier Metal team of Paul Alpers and Clint Hibden brought in the biggest fish in 2017 here on Truman, a whopping 2.18 pounds. We'd fished for about 15 minutes and 
Another team was on one of our trees that we wanted to fish really bad, and we let them fish it and fish it and fish it, and they left, and I pulled in there, first drop, pow! And this about two and a half pound crappie hit it, and we had him three inches to the net, and he flipped off. So it took me about three hours to get over that. So my partner, he finally caught another good one a little while ago and caught a couple more. So, you know, you can't give up. You got to keep on going. But man, when you lose one like that, it's just like it takes the breath out of you, you know? So I'm, I'm uh, we've been just using uh, different jigs, Rockport Rattlers, and uh, Clint was using a weedless jig for a while. Uh, we used some pro belts, but uh, we actually took yesterday, or on a sunny day on Thursday, I could put a June bug and chartreuse jig on drop it down off the bottom, raise it up, and whack one every time with nibbles. Well, this morning and yesterday, after the front moved in, they wanted the minnow back and the live bait. So we've been usually just using a jig hook, a jig head hook, 16th ounce or an eighth ounce, holding it down there, taking it to the bottom, raising it up and jigging a little bit, and that's about it. And every once in a while, you drop about one of these old three or four prong stumps out here that you see, and there'll be a big one or there'll be a crappie on it. But let me tell you, there's catfish on them, there's white bass on them. There's just about anything you can think of on these stumps right now. We For Shannon and Kyle Beckman, they're fishing slow, much like Caps and Coleman, finding that they have to hold the bait still to keep it in the strike zone in order to get the fish to bite. We're covering a lot of water, but we're, when we get to a good stump, we're sitting on it for a little bit because some of them it takes several minutes to make it bite. The B&M team of Ron Bilbrey and Tom Hankins were sitting in second in the B&M Angler Team of the Year race after Kentucky Lake. The team did not fish Wachita, which dropped them to 19th based on the way the competition is scored. The Angler Team of the Year is based on a team's best four qualifiers, so they're looking to have a good showing at this, their fourth event. This is hunting. We're hunting big fish, and it, we love it. And uh, earlier today, I had a silver on, so you just got to change up on what you're using. We fish a lot of structure. You see these lot stops we we've got. That's these fish will put their nose right up to that bait, and if a minnow or shad or something swims by it or a plastic, that's when they ambush it. And uh, if the fish are really holding tight, you're able to come in here and really whack them. Uh, but when they're traveling, moving, and not really holding to the bait uh, to a tree, you just got to almost spider rig or troll like I am right here. Hope you get the bait in front of them. That's a better fish. You know, sometimes these fish are right on the bottom. And you have to have your depth set just maybe two or three inches off the bottom. This is a perfect example of where we've been catching our fish. These multiple black stumps is what we've been catching them in. It's like a giant steak bed. We use eight quarter ounce jig heads and giant Bobby Garland baits. We actually are tipping this bait with a minnow to make it even a larger profile. And we're using white on white, which is kind of unique. There's a lot of shad in the water and we're trying to mimic those shad and it's, it's been working so far. One pole, multi poles combination of both. Find out what it's going to take to win here on Truman Lake. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart-pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country right here on Brush Bile Fishing. b and Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you are jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, b and has your pole. Third generation family company with over seven years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Pole, the first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. Visit BNMPoles.com for yours today. Bucks Hall is a great uh, location for your family reunions, fishing tournaments, wedding receptions, anything you have in mind. Bucks Hall Resort Marina, 40 room lodge, six cabins full service marina, restaurant, kitchenettes on the water, and even boat rentals. 
We are excited about hosting the second annual American Crappie Trail. Matt Morgan, director, we are really excited. This weekend, hope to see a couple big bags come in. Uh, great group of guys. The fishermen are always pleasant to work with. Truman Lake, 65,000 acres. Awesome fishery. Home of a three and a half pound crappie. As time expires and the day's fishing comes to an end, the fish have been called and the anglers wait to see if they'll carry enough weight to gain the top spot on day one. Will anyone bring in that elusive Truman 3.5 pound crappie? As the crowd gathers here at Bucksaw Marina, the wonderful amenities have everyone tucked in out of the hot sun. First to the scales is last year's Truman Lake winners, the team of Matt Beckman and Jeff Lewis. A respectable weight, but it did not hold the top spot for long when the team of Barry Morrow and Chad Maupin hit the scales. No? Yeah. Great string, look at this guys, 1043. A great day one weight, but will it be enough to secure the top spot on day one? Hey, look at this folks. Marty Snyder and Jackie Albin had other ideas as they edged them out by seven one hundredths of a pound. As the weights continued to climb, it was Daniel Pemberton and Justin Newman who brought home the sack of the day a big Truman bag of 10.75 pounds. Another good string. This is the way we start out Truman Lake. With the day one big fish coming in at 2.05 pounds and many others over 1.5 pounds, Truman Lake produced some nice limits of crappie, even under these tough conditions. The day one leaderboard looks like this, with Pemberton and Newman in first, Snyder and Albin in second, and in third, Morrow and Maupin. Will last year's winners Beckman and Lewis be able to climb back to claim a repeat victory on day two? Will fishing conditions improve as the day progresses? Let's go to Matt Morgan and Sam Heaton for their closing thoughts. Well, Matt, that's our first day weigh-in at Truman Lake, and we had a great weigh-in. We had a lot of fish caught. Unbelievable fish. Bigger fish than I thought we were going to see, no doubt about it. I was dead wrong in one facet. I thought that the multipole fishermen we're going to be leading this tournament after day one, mm -hmm. and I was totally not right. The one pole fishermen of Pemberton and Newman, which are Lake of the Ozarks anglers about 80 miles from here, have 1075 on day number one, an awesome bag of crappie. You know, we had some great fish. So whatever you do, don't miss next week's episode here at Truman Lake on the ACT. Don't miss Championship Saturday coverage next week as anglers kick it into high gear in hopes of winning their share of over $57,000. It all happens right here on the American Crappie Trail. <laughs>